Okay, I'm sorry for the poor video or audio quality. I don't usually film. Uh, this is the overview of my 1996 Bigfoot Super Wagon Class B RV. Uh, you, you can tell we've had several inches of snow here in Dallas. Uh, so it's, it's cold, it's wet, it's been raining and sleeting and snowing for, for about a week and a half. So um, you'll see the best and the worst of this RV right now. I'm not trying to hide anything. I'm not trying to uh, deceive anybody. Since we're out here, let's start off with the outside. It has brand new 70,000 mile Michelin's LTX tires, 70,000 mile tires, probably 2,000 miles on them. I've put brand new hubcaps on them, make it look pretty. Uh, wipers work, uh, just trust me on that. I'm not gonna get the snow off. <clears throat> it's got your propane hookup right here. Right now, it's getting a brand new water heater. I have not installed that yet. The old one is removed, so that panel is just hanging there. It's just set there to look good. So that will be a water heater probably by the end of tonight. Uh, this is the furnace, uh, propane, and this is the three-way refrigerator. That is the uh, AC and 12-volt and control, and then the propane. Uh, I have tested the 12-volt and the 120. Uh, I have not tested the propane. I have not spent the time to get it to light. Uh, the 110 works great. The 12-volt will keep it cool. I recommend if you're going to go on a trip, you plug it into a wall, to an extension cord. Uh, get get the ice box running nice and cold before you uh, switch over to 12 volt. That's that's my advice. You can tell there's a lot of extra cord there, so you can you can move it wherever you want, plug it in <clears throat> very easily, uh, or plug the whole unit into a 30 amp outlet, and the 110 works pretty well. Uh, you can see the awning that will open and and uh, has feet that drop down. Uh, I have pictures of that already extended. Um, we have the back, uh, both doors open in the rear. It has a spare mounted on the back, which has the Bigfoot cover on it. It is, uh, it is in very good, the tire is in very good shape, uh, a few years old, but uh, still excellent condition. I've had a little bit of water leak. Looks like it's coming from around the AC unit uh, on the back. So I've got a little some staining. Uh, you can see right here. And right now this is wet. Um, and it's coming from right here. And you can tell it's, um, I've got this panel off. This panel is right here uh, to find out where the water was coming from. And you can see that there's some water standing up at the AC unit. So I will uh, try to recock that, but the current state is it leaks, seems like it's leaking from the uh, roof AC unit. This is a, uh, a table. The table slides to accommodate uh, getting in on one side or two people using it. And it, of course, makes down to be a table, I mean, to be a, a bed. This board going across up front. Hold on. go and the cushions the backs right here go in the center to fill it up 
these cushions right here make the front seats into single beds. There's two pairs of them and you'll see those, uh, I can show you those in just a minute. What we have in the center here is the awning pole which I had to, was broken when I got the RV. I had to make a uh, make a uh, end for it uh, partly because I didn't want to buy one at the time. We have a fiberglass storage box right here and then we have a little more storage but an insulated house battery box. The battery is then brand new from AutoZone. Uh, it's an 860 amp battery. Uh, you can see it. It's right down in here. So that's one. You have your furnace right here and there that comes out from under. comes out from under this bench right here and that's the furnace and this will be the water heater and uh, it's an automatic lighting on the furnace and an automatic lighting on the water heater so uh, you can see a little fold-out table right there so let's go sh talk about the inside a little bit. <clears throat> um, uh, has has curtains. It's hard to uh, do this at the same time. Both curtains. The Velcro on, on a lot of them have uh, have gotten old, um, but they they either still work or or I don't worry about it because I mainly only worry about the the back windows while I'm driving and the front. So here's the inside um, from the doors. These seats fold, fold flat. The passenger seat turns 180. The driver's seat turns, um, I'm sorry, yeah. The driver's seat turns 90 degrees to be sideways. And you can see take the headrest out you lift this up you pull the pin and you lift you lift and this the bed the chair lays flat there we go um, I can turn the front around and lay one flat So the front seat, front passenger seat is 180 right now, and then let's see. There we go. So now we have a little bit of a of a bed. There are two 110 outlets right there. Let me grab the two cushions and I will show you how perfectly flat it gets. <clears throat> so this cushion goes on the seat of the front and this wedge cushion goes right there and that becomes a flat level surface for a single person. 
the driver's side does the exact same thing, but because of the steering wheel, it does not uh, rotate 180 degrees, it only rotates 90 degrees. So the, uh, the part you generally put your feet on or your head on is just a little narrower, but it still works just as well. So I'm going to do this in real time. So there are no, there's no question about what I've done except for the jumbling of the camera. So again, I apologize for the poor camera work. I don't have an assistant at this point. So inside the RV, we have a fan that is an intake or an exhaust fan. It's also uh, temperature uh, sensitive or not. We have some hi highlights. We have a couple of soft lights right there and there. Uh, we have the bathroom right behind that door. And we have a microwave, stove, sink, and refrigerator. But first, let's, let's also state for the record that this has had a new generator purchased and installed uh, in 03. Not yesterday, but better than never. Uh, it's an Onan uh, 2.8 kilowatt generator. It also, in 07, 07, had a Jasper transmission put in. Whoops, I don't know why I focused on the wrong thing. There we go. Um, so that was... Uh, another, let me see what the mileage was. Um, well, it was 07, and they list the mileage as 91,000. So it's, it's good to go for a while. It has this little table here in the middle, which has four cup holders. It removes and sets out of the way. That pipe comes off. And goes in the in that closet or in that open space right there. Uh, big window. That window opens. Uh, we have cabinets up up top and cabinets up top over there. We used to have a TV and VCR combo. It now has an LCD TV with a DVD player. So this is big empty storage space and what used to be all TV and VCR is now storage space with the remote for the v for the DVD player the DVD player um, it's HDMI out it'll take an SD card it's a 12 volt TV so you don't have to have the generator running And uh, when I use it, I've got some wireless headphones that I would connect to it. But it's when you're not moving, it's loud enough to hear throughout the entire the entire RV. So, <clears throat> like I said, real convenient. Looking back, we have microwave, little bitty gold star microwave we have a sink with a cutting board we have a two burner stove that does not have an, a pilot light and does not auto light so you have to have a, a lighter with you we have a drawer with a cutting board and a lighter we have a lower drawer with two slide out shelves and I made myself a little trash trash can that goes just cut one down to size and it fits in that lower drawer. So we have the refrigerator with a little bitty ice box right there. And of course, a latch to keep it from opening on you. 
we have a big old mirror on the door. Here we have a door with a towel rack. We have a shower with a toilet. A little medicine cabinet mirror, little medicine cabinet right here, right there. Keep the toilet paper back there. The sink with the shower head. And a little curtain that, that closes the door, keep the door from getting wet. Uh, there are some hooks right, right there, and things to hold the some of the poles and accessories. Um, there's a vent right there, and that's our bathroom. One of the design flaws is this door hits that knob. People have recommended uh, moving that knob. I haven't gotten around to it. So we have the control panel with the generator start, the time meter showing uh, that's right, 53 hours, 53.9 hours. Um, it has a test that shows battery condition, LP gas condition, fresh water, and the two holding tanks. Uh, we also have a water pump on. We have the vent hood light and the uh, hood fan. The generator has an auto start. And an auto stop. The water heater has an auto start right under the sink which will be working probably by the end of tonight. Uh, <clears throat> so that's the front. The back, um, it has the Duotherm uh, roof, roof unit, works fine. I can kick the generator, turn on the, the AC, it's like 35 degrees so it's not a fair test of the AC. But on the other hand, I can turn right here, it says optional heat. I have installed a heat strip into this unit. So I can actually go over here and turn it to warm and it should start blowing warm air. The heat strip is not really a, a heater, but it does, does do a little bit of heating. There's also a furnace right here that works fine. Uh, you turn it on here, switch it that way, then you set your, th your temperature and it uses the propane and, uh, and the battery to auto light the furnace and warm up the cabin from below right there, below your bed basically. We have cabinets. You can hear the, uh, the generator under the load of the heater. Uh, we have cabinets here, a little wardrobe um, with uh, cabinets there. So a little bit of water standing in the back um, and a little bit of leak at the roof AC. Other than that, it's a very good road, road ready RV. Up here at the front, we have we have uh, we have cruise control. We're showing one forty-five. This is probably a uh, I know they're really One hundred and forty-five, almost one hundred and forty-six thousand miles. Huge face watches. We have an updated stereo kind of like that big showy, like you said, with 
a touchscreen, uh, MP3, DVD, um, and remote. It plays iP iPods, it plays uh, play DVDs, a lot of fun. The center console has a bunch of storage here. I have the video cables from the from the radio. Uh, you could hook up a separate camera. You could uh, also have the video out to plug into the TV if you wanted to. Um, it has a nice roomy center console. This becomes a cup holder. So nice. Has a dash pad. That has a way. And we have curtains that go all the way around. Close up the entire front end. And that is that's the RV. There is one more thing. I want it to go over, and that's all this stuff out here. I have water pump and pulley, water pump and pulley and gasket. I have belts and hoses. I have new brake pads front and rear, shoes rear. I have uh, water uh, radiator hoses. I have brake tool rebuild kit and a new uh, fan clutch just in case so uh, we should have whoever owns this should have uh, everything they need to keep it on the road for quite a while 70,000 miles worth of tires a um, bunch of the maintenance items it's had new uh, spark plugs and spark plug wires it's uh, it should be ready to go it should be a great running car uh, for anybody if you have any questions just give me a call or text thanks